All right. Good afternoon. Um, I'll take your questions. Why don't we just start out with any injuries to report uh, from Sunday? Uh, yeah, so Ryan Bates uh, will not practice with an ankle. Jordan Poyer, knee soreness, will not practice. Micah Hyde, hamstring, will not practice. Saran Neal, ankle, will not practice. Leonard Floyd, ankle, will not practice. Jordan, faced some really good offenses. Uh, the Chiefs come right to mind. How, based on your film so far, how challenging is this Miami offense going to be for you? Yeah, very good. I mean, they are, they're all um, as advertised. I mean, they're, they're explosive. Anybody that touches the ball can score, uh, whether it's a, what you think is going to be a two-yard run turns into a, you know, a, a crease and a, and a gasher. Um, same thing with the with the passing game. So, um, Coach McDowell does a great job of um, just moving guys around, creating, um, you know, different uh, styles of offense. It's uh, it's a handful. How much? Sean, I asked you this on Monday, and obviously you had just started looking at the film, but. Uh, and I know you don't want to get into X's and O's, and I understand that. But does it? How much tactically do they maybe force you to make adjustments in, in, in terms of how you line up against them? Yeah, I mean, I um, most really good offenses do that. Um, Sal mentioned Kansas City; um, they make you, um, you know, do something that you don't really want to do or that's not in your wheelhouse. So um, that's why they're good. Um, they, 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 they put you out on the edge and, and, uh, and try and get you in, in bad positions. A couple of weeks back, you mentioned that the defensive front took notice of media criticism um, because of when Vaughn was in the lineup. But is this a good week then to maybe criticize the, or question the defensive line? You can do all, you can do all that you want. Yeah. yeah. What? What uh, what do you make of the aggressive approach? And then you mentioned that, that Floyd kind of gives that unit in being able to maybe be a difference maker this weekend. Uh, man, um, so Floyd specifically is up addressing just, just, just that that line and just you add Floyd, but the line is what it's what it's been doing. Yeah, um, just the potential of being a difference maker this weekend. Yeah, they're they they are. Um, a catalyst to us playing good defense, right? We have to have that every week uh, at, at the point of attack in the run game and then also affecting the pass game. Um, the challenge this week is the ball comes out so fast. So we, we've got to find um, somehow some way to, I mean, I think he's two has been sacked one time, I think all year from, if I'm not mistaken. So it's, it's very impressive. Does it Along those same lines, is the key this week really not so much chasing them, it's just getting your arms up, right? I mean, you need to block his windows as opposed to trying to get him in one second, right? Does that make sense? Well, yeah, I mean, you just you try and figure out what you can do um, because it's, they've got a good thing going with, with, uh, with both the run and the pass. You know, when you watch that Denver game, yeah, so. Sean, how hard is it to, to construct a – an adequate scout look this week. I mean, there's just not that many humans on the planet like the guys they have. And what what can you realistically hope to get? Yeah, if you can get, get a couple of uh, Usain Bolts and we'll bring them in for, tell Brandon we'll bring them in for, for a week and run scout team with about three or four of those guys. Um, I think that'd give us a good look right there. What are you realistically hoping to get out of that, that this week, that unit? The scout team, yeah, they've got to play as fast as they can play. We'll try and give them a rest as much as we can in between reps. Um, because there's only so many guys to go around to run as fast as we need them to run. And, I mean, just to simulate that speed, um, it's, it's unique. What, what are the general like, points of emphasis for your defense when you're facing an offense like this? Uh, well, we can go through the whole game plan if you'd like. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, you guys are great, man. Um, you know, obviously um, they've they've exposed people um, in a lot of ways. Like I said, they're running the pass, so um, you know you just you try and be fundamentally sound in what you do. And I think that's the biggest thing is um, you know make sure we're getting off blocks, make sure we're tackling, um, and um, you know I think that's the 
that's the biggest thing you can do is is emphasize the the things that always come into play in a football game, and that's the fundamentals. You always talk about eye discipline. You always talk about eye discipline. A lot of times it's when you have like a read option type of quarterback. In this case, they do so much motion. There's so much going on. Is eye discipline something you have to concentrate on in a different facet this week? Right, it is uh, because, like you said, there's a lot going on motion-wise. Coach uh, McDaniel's very creative with the motions he uses, um, and um, I'm sure you'll see him starting to show up around the league. If not this year, then next year, and um, you know, because people, you know, beg, steal, and borrow, right, around around the league here. So with what works, so he does a great job of, like I said, moving people around um, and putting players in position to make plays the art or maybe the science of disguising a defense for as long as you can against that type of offense that has so much motion and pre-snap stuff. And is there a, a point where you just run, obviously run out of time to the play clock, but is, how does it get condensed in terms of what you're trying to withhold from them, the information you're trying to withhold? Well, that's, I think, part of what, I mean, you'd have to ask uh, Coach McDaniel this, but I think that's part of what the motion undresses is, is, is your, is your, what you're in, right? So it's it forces your hand a little bit. Can you, though, do things to buy time? Is there anything that you can do? Call time you, out? <laughs> right. <laughs> are you just told, are you more? I think we only get three of those. Though. Do they, does it negate the, the ability to disguise to what degree? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, offenses around the league have different, I guess, mechanisms to, to get you out of your disguises, right? There's different ways people do it. Um, you know, certainly they're good at it. So yeah. You played them last uh, a year ago in Miami, 21-19. Do you feel like their running game has gotten better and better since then? From the standpoint, it's not less RPO real, uh, dominated, and now in goal they're running real, lots of runs, yeah. more varied. What do you think about the improvement of their running game over the past? Yeah. Year? Um, no, they've. It's it's clear that they stress that, they emphasize that. Um, um, they do a really good job of schematically putting the players in position um, with their blocking schemes, and then also um, they have weapons in the backfield that, as I said earlier, can, um, I mean, all three backs can go, and um, you give them a crease and they're going to be gone like they were, like they've been this year and in particular last week. And I think the running back depth and the running back, the style of runners that they have um, in week one or week what was it, three last year, uh, they didn't have all those pieces. Now um, now they've got three guys that can all, can all, can all go. Is there still a lot you can use from like, last year to play for this one, or is it different enough that it's like, more focusing on these three teams they played? Um, I think uh, a little bit of both. Um, you want to focus on this team this year and what they're doing, and um, you try and learn a little bit from, from that experience. But again, some of the – some of the personnel was, was slightly different. Sean, what's the balance between staying true to who you guys are defensively and, and dictating the terms while also adjusting and maybe also throwing some things their way that you haven't shown to other teams and, and keeping them off balance? Uh, yeah, I mean, you want to, you know, as best you can, um, you know, stay true to who you are. Like I said, fundamentally, I think that's the biggest thing is just making sure that we are bringing fundamentals to the game. Um, and we're practicing those today, and um, that's, that's, uh, that's going to be highly important to our success. Two weeks you've been one of the best time of possession teams in the league. Pretty simple. It seems like that's the best way to play defense against the right is your offense needs to sustain drives and keep them off the field kind of, right? Right, yeah. I mean, we, when, you, when you're playing a team like an explosive team, a team that scores like this, this offense does, and um, you, you have to play a complementary game. Um, and so all three phases have to have to blend together and, and work together. So um, it's certainly going to take all of us to get it done. Tyreek was obviously very successful when he was in Kansas City. He's carried that over down to Miami. Have you seen them ask him to do different things? And how have you seen his game change at all since moving from the Chiefs to the Dolphins? Um, his level of play, I would say, just generally speaking, obviously the systems are slightly different, um, but his level of play is – to me, is just as high now as it was then. Um, he's he's incredibly fast, as we all know. I'm stating the obvious, um, but um, when you have when you have uh, a player like that, and then you've got 
uh, the other speed elements that they have, Waddle included, um, you know, it's it's a lot to handle. Um, what, what are the elements of Terrell Bernard's game that have allowed him to be so successful in your defense thus far? Uh, you know, he's a student of the game. Um, he's he's very into the process of of uh, preparing himself to to play, and 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 um, I think the other piece is is the DNA that that he possess he possesses is about or helps him to really earn his way on the team. Yes, playing time. Yes, respect of his teammates. Yes. Uh, center and leader of the defense in the middle of the defense, yes. Signal caller, yes. I mean, he just takes that personality that he has, I think, um, um, is uh, impressive. So. Were you, because he didn't play in the preseason because of his injury, how, how certain were you about him in that role at this beginning of the year? Well, I mean, uh, you don't really know for sure. And listen, we're just through three games. Um, um, but he he possesses certain qualities, if you will, as a you know as a as a person, as a player that you that you think, hey, it, it could be. That's why that's why Brandon drafted him, right? And and um, as coaches, we like him and liked him then and like him now. Is he just there's things that you see in his base of who he is that you like. And now, do you know if it ever, if it's going to you know blossom and turn into something? You don't know that, um, but. Um, He's certainly off to a good start, and he's worked hard to get there. John, how much different is it getting ready for that defense where the personnel is largely familiar, but the, the scheme and the philosophy is you know, almost a 180 with Vic down? Uh, yeah, uh, Vic does a really good job. Um, he's been at it a long time, been a head coach. Um, I mentioned this the other day. I have a lot of respect for Coach Fangio. He's um, a guy that you know I tried from time to time to meet with with Coach at the uh, at the combine where we're sharing hey best practices and. Um, I was just a young coach, you know, years ago when we when I had a chance to do that. And I didn't really know him at the time, but he was kind enough to sit down with me and just share some of his because he's always had a good defense wherever he goes, whatever the talent level. He's always had a a good defense, and um, and I respect that. Sean, talk about staying true to yourself on defense in a game like this, going up against this kind of offense. Do you also say the same thing with the offense of not trying to get carried away, not trying to put up 30 plus points, and again staying true to yourself and not trying to get in a shootout with them? Uh, yeah, just overall, I think um, you know keeping your own identity is is important. Um, hard to do, uh, but it is important overall as a team for sure.